Obey what? Obey all And back. obey who? You thought being your fiance was hell? Yeah. You ain't seen yeah. He used America as you know a bait. I feel that the elders of my family failed him on this. You know, tell him that they are not going to be involved in this relationship. That this is horrible. Hello everyone, my name is Oluchi, and this is a Nigerian Shimonis React. On this channel, be sure that you're going to get commonsensical reactions to issues from a Nigerian point of view. Please do not forget to like this video, and if you like what you see on the channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. So we are still talking Michael and Angela. For the lovers of Nigerian Beyonce, Michael and Angela is a hot topic, and everybody is talking about it because we just want to know what next it's not a doubt and it's not a hidden fact that angela was very abusive towards michael in the relationships i got a comment on in my previous video and somebody said that you know victim victim blaming is gross and you know the, pers the person alluded that i was victim blaming or victim shaming michael now let me tell you something i'm nigerian and you know Angela treated Michael as shit. She felt like she was Lord Master because she's American. She always treated the word an American. You know, she used America as, you know, a bait for Michael. You know, I find it very bad. I find it very embarrassing. I find it very demeaning. When foreigners, you know, feel like they are the superman of the earth trying to save an African. I feel so bad, you know, towards that narrative because Africans are a proud people. We are hardworking. We do not need hands out from foreigners. To, to survive. We have been surviving for centuries and we'll keep on surviving. And I feel worse when an African feels that he or she you know, is not equal to a foreigner or when the person feels that a white skin is superior to a black skin. And this is why I feel so horrible about the Michael and Angela's relationship. I feel so horrible that Michael allowed himself you know, to go through that level of abuse from Angela just because she's foreign, she's a foreigner, she's American and he just wanted to get to America. But there's a saying that says that the oppression of the oppressed is determined by the patience of the oppressed. But I still maintain and I feel that he allowed himself to be oppressed, he allowed himself to be emasculated. Michael is my Nigerian brother and I wish him nothing but the best. I understand that it's very difficult at the present moment to be in Nigeria and living in Nigeria. And a lot of people are, you know, are traveling out of the country, traveling out of the continent to go to other countries, you know, to, um, you know, to better their, their lot in life. I have nothing against him, you know, wanting to better his fortunes in life. And the only issue I have against him is, you know, the route he took. And it seems that he loves, can't his partner to get to that end goal of his. That's just what it seemed like. I know that for Nigerians, we have been battling this issue of scamming and you know for anything that would be like yes it's it's the same thing that nigerians know for scam i frowned so much against it let's take a look at some of the abuse from angela michael michael come on michael and Angela proceeds to destroy Michael's car. Michael didn't want a confrontation so he decides to stay inside the house and then the moment he comes out, Angela attacks him physically. Like what the hell? If Angela can attack Michael physically in the presence of you know camera crew, presence of his family members, what do you think Angela would have done behind closed doors? Could have been worse? Who knows? Can you imagine that Michael, a grown-up man, shed tears was crying just because of you know the disrespect from angela it's horrible it's really really horrible if i was michael family member i would have told him to call off that relationship and i would have disassociated myself with him if he decided to have continued with that relationship i feel that the elders of michael family failed him on this you know tell him that they are not going to be involved in this relationship that this is horrible they don't see how this thing was going to work if in Nigeria and even the presence of his family members, she was going to disrespect him this much, how much more was she going to disrespect him when he leaves the shore of Nigeria and goes to America where he has no family member, he has no friends, nothing. So if I were his family member, at this instance, I would have told him to call it off, end it, call it quits, capish. Another incident where I felt that relationship should have been called off was during his wedding. Hey. To love and to obey. What? Yes, to love and to obey. Obey what? To 
to obey love. Your and obey who? Obey what? Obey who? Who does that? On your wedding day, in front of witnesses, in front of his parents, in front of your own family members? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The patience of your oppressed. <laughs> Michael was really, really patient. Really, really patient. If I was in that wedding occasion, I would have stood up and walked out of that place. What is this? That's a scam of a marriage, a scam of a relationship. Now, listen to what she said immediately after the exchange vow. You thought being your fiance was hell? You ain't seen yet. Oh my goodness. Michael was in for it. He knew what he was in for. He knew what he was in for. I mean, you know, he took it. He kept on taking it until he got to the shores of America and then that's when he realized that he could no longer take it. Let's just suppose Ed and Rose. Rose could not take Ed's bullshit. He, she couldn't take his disrespect. And for her mental health, for her self-esteem, she called it quits. That's a position, that is what any sensible person who values his or herself, who values his self-esteem, who values his self-image, would do. And that was what I expected Michael to do. It wasn't working in Nigeria. How do you think it was going to work in America? It didn't work in the presence of your family members. How do you think it was going to work, work when none of your family members were there? The only person in Michael's family who I felt really stood up to Angela's bullshit was Aunt Lydia. Probably if there were like three or four in that family, I don't think that Michael would have made this mistake, you know, of continuing to remain in that relationship. If it was this tough in Nigeria, how did Michael think that it was going to be in America? Is he? You must be kidding me. Michael was an ambassador for Nigeria on the 90 Day Fiancé show. I felt so sad that, you know, the narrative that Michael put out was, you know, kind of a docile man who, you know, took all the bullshit that, that was thrown at him, all the abuse that was that he was giving, you know, without asserting himself, without speaking up for himself. Honestly, I wish Michael nothing but the best. I want Michael to succeed. I want Michael to do well. I'm rooting for Michael. I believe that Michael has a lot of goodwill. You know, on social media streets, he has a lot of goodwill, and I believe that even off social media streets, he also has a lot of goodwill. Yes, he has gone through hell. So I only wish that, you know, that Michael did this sooner than later. My advice to Angela, you need to simmer it down a bit. You really need to. You know, you don't always have to be the loudest. You don't always have to be the person who uses the foulest word. I think you need to calm down. So guys, what do you think? Do you really think that Michael stayed for love or he stayed for the green card? Do you wish that they continue their relationship or they call it off for good this time around? Please don't like to know what you think in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.